G'day and welcome to Aussie Vision and today we're talking about the United Kingdom's entry mm. to Michael Rice with Bigger Than Us. Let's talk about some things we like about this one, Dale. Yeah, there's quite a bit we like about this song and number one, it's Michael Rice's vocal. His vocal is fantastic, I really like it. It's a real authentic voice, it's very powerful and it looks effortless at times. I, I, I just love his vocal. One thing I don't uh, doubt about this kid, he can sing the song. Mm. He did it so well at the national final yep. uh, and he belted it out so mm. yeah I have no problem with that. One thing I really love about this song Dale, the anthemic chorus. Once I listen to this song I walk away and it's in my head for the next five yeah. to ten minutes. Yeah. So great song, well done, really really great song. And the element of that of that anthemic chorus and the good vocal is also because you've got this familiar Arity about that, that word is my struggle. Uh, it's familiar to audiences. It sounds like something you've heard before. It sounds a little bit scary. It sounds a little bit X Factor. Mm. And that can be a positive. Let's talk it away. <laughs> it could possibly be a negative yes. Dale. That familiarity yes. <laughs> could also be seen as dated and a little bit by numbers. Let's face it, this does sound like a bit of an X Factors winner's song mm. in its production, yeah. the way that the UK are presenting it. Mm. So unfortunately, there might be a few people that go, oh, sorry, heard all this before. Yeah, I agree with you on that one as well. And I, we can't ignore the fact that this was written by John Ludwig and he's doing another song for Sweden. I think there's some similar sounding familiar bits of that and I think the Swedish song is superior so it makes the UK song look a bit B grade in comparison. Unfortunately you can't deny it. Yes, we all know Sweden's going to make the grand final here and unfortunately they're going to be in the same race. People will compare the two as they should and unfortunately I I think Michael comes off second best in that one. Yeah, and that's the unfortunate thing. And let's talk about the other male solos as well. This is a male solo ballad heavy kind of competition. Yeah. Um, there's some big, big ballads out there. And it, once again, where does Michael sit in the order of those ballads? Unfortunately, I don't think it's a really, really high up. Yeah, you've got Duncan, you've got Sergey, and then you've got John as well. That's just to start with. Yeah. Um, and then when you're competing against those, you end up getting a situation like last year where Jess Malboy got fuegoed. Um, you just have too many female bangers, and she fell down as a lot of other songs did. UK is again, Slovenia. And I think you're going to get that with the male solos this year, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I think that may be the case. Let's talk about predictions, though, Dale. Where yep. do we think this one's going to finish? Um, it's going to be right-hand side of the scoreboard, <laughs> unfortunately. You didn't hesitate and, there, did no, you? No, <laughs> and probably um, maybe 15th, 16th at best. I'm going to say this is my favourite UK entry for a long, long time, mm. but I'm also going to say right-hand side of the scoreboard, unfortunately. There is just too much competition for this. Best they can hope for. I think maybe like a uh, 15th, 16th position as they were in 2017. Yeah, indeed. And look, we've done a whole podcast episode mm. where we give our personal rankings and I think you'd be quite surprised about where we end up putting this because mm. we've got a lot of good things to say about this song. We and we good. also give the Aussie Vision jury results as well. So listen and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Thanks for listening to us, guys. See you later.